And so now we're going to go over to Pennsylvania to Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Are you with us? Hello. Hello. Um, I have been familiar with the program for um, a few months. Um, uh-huh. Disclosure happened about a couple months ago. And um, so I started working on pies. Um, I'm working uh, one of the coaches, Amber, Mm -hmm. Um, would like to start the 12-week program, um, but because of financial obligations, um, I have just been watching the videos of the podcast. I'm part of the Facebook group, and it's been so supportive, and I'm so appreciative of of all the information that's offered, uh, even just for free. Um, So I've been working on pies, and um, this is part of my question is, in working um, on myself, and uh, things like emotional stability and um, creating that safe place for my husband to disclose and talk. Um, he's been in, in a limerent, uh, you know, wildly romantic, I love you, loves this other woman, wants out of our seven-year marriage. Uh-huh. Um, but I've been standing for it. And um, so he spent a, a, his first few nights over her house. Uh, we have a seven-year-old, or excuse me, eight-year-old daughter. And uh, for the first time, uh, last Saturday night, I said, um, I texted him. I was, uh, you know, out car shopping, um, which he was helping me with, which was great. Um, I said, I would like to go out tonight for a few hours. I hadn't been out of the house in three months. I've been mm. cooped up every weekend in the house, taking care of our daughter, mm-hmm. his son from a previous marriage while he's out and um, he said oh well I was going to go for a ride after work um, and I have plans with the other woman and I for the first time kind of put my foot down and I said but I would like to go out Mm -hmm. he offered to pay for a babysitter and I went out Mm -hmm. so with the support of the Facebook group I I love these people they said yay go for it enjoy yourself and I, I did to the best of my ability he didn't come home that night, and I just had to be okay with it. I've been doing stuff around the house, uh, cleaning, projects, even things that he would normally do. I'm trying to hold the house together. Mowed mm-hmm. the lawn. I asked a neighbor for a ladder, cleaned out the gutters, and mm-hmm. I was quite proud of myself and felt very accomplished. Good. Um, so that part's been good. It's actually been very peaceful while okay. he's away. And, and how, um, how can we help you today? So, what is the question that you have, my friend? Well, what happened is, 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 is he, had, he said he's ready for divorce uh, last week. Uh, it was the first time he had said the D word. Mm-hmm. He had said he wanted out. Now he's pushing it. Mm-hmm. And I got a text this morning from him after he came home at 4.30 in the morning to put our daughter in camp. He texts me. Uh, and mind you, he was very proud. He was happy, thankful of all that I had done around the house. Right. Over and over again, thankful. Mm-hmm. Is it, and he said, we need to talk in person, not over the phone. Okay. And I just said, okay. All right. And so, Is it possible that mm-hmm. those working on myself, um, showing that I can still have a life and do things for myself, I'm not dependent on him, is mm-hmm. kind of what I'm showing, mm-hmm. um, that I can be emotionally stable that, mm-hmm. yes, he has pushed my buttons a few times, made some mistakes, but right. that I recover. Right. Nicole, I'm, I'm not understanding the question. Is that possible that it actually pushes him away? Okay, is that what you're asking us, that doing like those things feels, would push him yeah, away? Yeah, like it feels like maybe he sees that he, I don't need him, so he really wants out, or is it more guilt, shame, and adequacy that he's not doing it, he's not there, and okay. I'm having to do it. Of course, you understand that we would not be able to tell you one or the other whether it's what's motivating him because we don't know him. If we knew him, we could ask him the question, of how are you feeling, what's your motivation, and maybe he would tell us. But when we're speculating about it, obviously it's a speculation. But we get the question a lot, Kimberly, when mm-hmm. people are saying, okay, I'm improving. And for those that have not been with us before because you're joining us for the first time on YouTube, when you hear people talking about things like pies, we talk about physical, intellectual, emotional, spiritual, that's what the PI stands for. And you become the best person that you can possibly be. And so we often get asked this question, don't we? It's like, we I'm improving my PIs, I'm improving yeah. myself physically, intellectually, emotionally, spiritually. Would that possibly push my spouse away? And how do you answer that? 
you know, Joe, the first question that I ask back is, okay, if it were, then would you stop? Like, would you want to be not the best version of yourself just in order to keep your spouse around? Because what the underlying premise of the pies is you don't do them just to get something from. You don't do it just to get your spouse back, to bring them back. That's a side benefit. You do your pies because it is the best thing that you can do for you. It's you becoming the best version of yourself, living, getting the full extent of everything that is in store for you in life. I mean, that is the purpose of the pies. And so to me, if I were to have that choice of either I do my pies and I am the best version of me or I don't, and that's going to be what keeps my husband around, then there's something else wrong with the marriage Mm -hmm. because it should be that I'm able to work on my pies to do these things, to be confident, to be independent, and that 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 my marriage ends up working too. So, I mean, my advice to you would be don't not work on your pies because you're scared that your husband is seeing that and it's pushing him away. I, I highly doubt that that's happening. I mean, it could be, but it's just, do you want that? Do you want it to be to where you have to be more dependent on him so that he'll stay Mm -hmm. because it's still a tactic to try and get them to stay. Right. And to say something like, okay, I've been more in the grass. I've been doing this. I've been doing that. And should I stop doing those things because he thinks I don't need him. I think that you're always coming across, it's my opinion, you're always coming across much better when you can show, I can live without you. Mm -hmm. That actually makes you more attractive. It's when it's, oh my goodness, I can't do these things unless you are here. That actually becomes less attractive. That becomes a push. It does. It typically ends up pushing the other person away when they feel like they're suffocated, they're trapped, they have to do everything for you. That is what typically people look at and they either stop respecting you, they stop being attracted to that. And I'm not saying that this is the deal for the caller that we're speaking to, but just in general, that is, that is typically what happens. So while it may seem, now what could be happening, and of course we don't know the situation, but it could be that when people start working on their pies and they're becoming this confident, independent person, that their spouse is taken aback. Mm-hmm. They don't understand what's happening. They right. don't know if it's real or not. They, I right. mean, it's just confusing to them. But over time, it's the best thing you can do for yourself and the best thing you can do for your marriage. Over time, it's a win-win. But you can't, going back to defining success, if you're defining the success of working on your pies of, is it bringing my husband back to me? then you're never going to have a sustainable goal. You're never going to meet that goal because that's an external circumstance that you can't control. You work on your pies to become the best version of you. That is the first and foremost reason that you do it. It just is. Right. And if you're judging it based on how your spouse is reacting, you will not consistently do it. That's absolutely true. Yep. You'll think, oh, he's responding well. I'll keep doing this. Oh, Mm -hmm. no, he's not responding. I'll give up. And yet working on physical, intellectual, emotional, spiritual, you becoming the best that you can be, that's important no matter what, whether your spouse comes back or not. It is. And if you think about it in the sense of, let's say you just started dating someone. And if there was something that you did that you enjoyed that that was part of you that that person didn't like, you wouldn't change you Mm -hmm. in that instance. And so the same with the pies you do the things that are the best, that make you the better version, the best version of you that you can be. And that's, that's the goal. I think that makes a lot of sense.